In this episode, I'll give you three tips for shooting in natural light. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, I'm here in Paris, France, and as you can see behind me, that is the Eiffel Tower. Now, I was here a couple years ago, and I shot this image of the Eiffel Tower, and I sort of like it. It's the traditional vertical shot of the Eiffel Tower at night, and I shot this actually with my Fuji X-Pro1. Well, this time when I got to Paris, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to have the river in front of the Eiffel Tower, and I also wanted to take sort of a cheesy shot that I could turn into an old-timey postcard to send back as a gag to my friends and family to say, hey, I'm in Paris. So what I did was I set out to take pictures of the Eiffel Tower, and you'd think it'd be pretty easy, but it's been sort of overcast and rainy, and the weather hasn't been so good, and nothing I did worked. The reason for that, well, is the light just wasn't right. And it reminded me that there are three things every photographer should do when shooting in natural light. The first thing is don't fight the light. You can't change natural light. It is what it is. You can't reposition a light or do anything with it. If it's an overcast day, it's an overcast day. You can't just sweep the clouds away. So you need to work with what you have. And what I did was I was trying to shoot the Eiffel Tower from the wrong place. The sun was coming uh, on the wrong side of the Eiffel Tower, so it was washing it all out. I was trying to shoot when it was an overcast day. It was looking sort of glum, and I was fighting the light that I had, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have not fought the light, and I should have done number two, which is do your homework. You know, check the weather and see what the weather is going to be like. Is it going to be sunny? Is it going to be overcast or partly cloudy? And use the photographer's ephemeris. Now, this is a great homework tool because you can see exactly where the sun is going to be at any time of the day at any certain place. And so using the photographer's ephemeris, I was able to place a point on the Eiffel Tower and scroll through the day and see exactly where I needed to be when. And then I was able to implement tip number three, and that is be patient. As somebody famously saying, the sun will come out tomorrow, and certainly the sun did come out the next day. And because I'd done my homework, I knew exactly where I needed to be, and I was able to get this photo of the river and the Eiffel Tower, and it looks great. Now, as I was shooting, I found it ironic that the sun all of a sudden got hit with clouds, and you can actually see in this very short sequence of shots, the cloud actually, or the shade, uh, climbing the Eiffel Tower. You can see it get darker and darker and darker and more muddled. And so in that situation, you just have to be patient and shoot at a different time or just wait it out. So don't fight the light, do your homework and be patient, and that's going to pay off for you big time. And I have a bonus tip for you, and that is, check out this little guy. This is a small tripod, it's made by Coleman. A lot of the places that I was shooting, I wanted a tripod, but I couldn't bring my full size tripod because there are too many people and too many restrictions. And so I was able to use this little guy, it's about 20 bucks, but I was able to place that on the guardrails and position my camera, and that's what I did when I got this shot. Now, I haven't talked about the pictures. I shot those with my Leica M Type 240 camera with my 35 millimeter lens, shot in aperture priority mode at f8. And I think I averaged out to be around 250th, 500th of a second, something like that. I'll put it in the video exactly what it was. But I focused at hyperfocal, like we talked about in the last episode, and that's all there is to it. Aperture priority mode, f8, hyperfocal, let the camera worry about the exposure, and shoot away. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this episode. Don't forget those three tips. Don't fight the light. Do your homework and be patient, and you will get great results when you're shooting in natural light. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. And that way you won't miss any episodes. There's tons of them out there. And don't forget about the Adorama Learning Center as well. There are tons of articles. Specifically, I just wrote one about natural light and properties of light and all that kind of stuff. It's at, Adorama, at the Adorama Learning Center as part of the Adorama U series. So check that out. It goes into much greater detail about the position and quality of light. And I think you'll find that very useful. Well, thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.